The XF-84H Thunderscreech was an experimental aircraft developed by the United States Air Force in the mid-1950s. It attempted to combine turboprop efficiency with the speed of early jet fighters. Engineers believed a propeller-driven design could remain relevant in the jet age. Testing quickly revealed severe vibration, extreme noise, and structural stress that challenged every component of the aircraft. Based on the Republic F-84 Thunderjet, the aircraft replaced its jet engine with a massive turboprop. This decision fundamentally altered the aircraft's behavior and performance. Noise, vibration, and mechanical stress defined nearly every test. The thunder screech became infamous long before testing was complete. After World War II, the Air Force explored ways to improve fighter range and fuel efficiency. Early jet engines consumed enormous amounts of fuel, limiting endurance and operational flexibility. Turboprops promised higher efficiency and better low-altitude performance. This concept led to the development of the XF-84H project. Republic Aviation proposed modifying the F-84 Thunderjet airframe to accept the Allison XT-40 turboprop. The XT-40 was among the most powerful turboprops ever built, combining two turbines into a single output shaft. Engineers believed the added power could compensate for the weight of the new engine and propeller. The aircraft retained the F-84's general shape but was almost entirely rebuilt internally. A massive three-blade propeller was designed specifically for the XF-84H. Its tips were intended to exceed the speed of sound during operation, which was unprecedented for a manned aircraft. Engineers expected this configuration to maximize thrust at high speeds. No operational aircraft had ever attempted this type of propulsion before. Ground testing revealed immediate problems with vibration and torque. Forces transmitted through the airframe exceeded predictions, causing structural concern. Reinforcements were required in multiple areas, which added weight and complexity. Engine cooling also proved challenging under sustained power conditions. Despite these issues, the Air Force authorized initial flight tests in 1955. Two prototypes were completed for evaluation, each incorporating lessons from ground tests. Early flights confirmed many of the predicted difficulties with handling and reliability. Pilots reported severe vibration, control challenges, and overwhelming noise during every sortie. The XF-84H represented an ambitious attempt to push turboprop technology to its limits. Engineers learned critical lessons about supersonic propeller dynamics, mechanical reliability, torque management, and structural integrity became central concerns. The project would ultimately highlight the difficulties of combining extreme power with a conventional airframe. Externally, the XF-84H resembled the F-84 Thunderjet, but nearly every internal system was redesigned. New intakes, exhaust ducts, and structural supports were required to accommodate the turboprop engine. These modifications significantly increased weight and altered the aircraft's balance. The combination of added mass and high power produced handling difficulties that plagued every flight. The Allison XT-40 engine produced over 5,800 shaft horsepower, transmitted through a complex reduction gearbox to the propeller. This gearbox was a frequent failure point during both ground and flight tests. Mechanical reliability remained poor despite continuous adjustments. Engineers struggled to prevent overheating, oil leaks, and vibration-induced damage. The supersonic propeller caused shockwaves and extreme noise during operation. Blade tip speeds exceeding Mach 1 generated continuous pressure fluctuations. These shockwaves reduced thrust efficiency rather than improving it. Ground crews were often affected by the intense noise and vibration. Aircraft handling was highly unstable due to torque and gyroscopic effects. Minor throttle adjustments caused violent roll and yaw tendencies. Pilots were required to apply constant control corrections to maintain heading. Even experienced test pilots considered the XF 
84H extremely challenging to fly. Cooling systems proved inadequate for the high-powered engine. Heat buildup was rapid, and airflow was disrupted by propeller turbulence. Engine components frequently overheated, reducing available flight time. Maintenance crews worked intensively to keep the prototypes operational. Engineering analysis confirmed the fundamental flaws of the design. Supersonic propellers in manned aircraft proved impractical under realistic conditions. Stress on the airframe and gearbox exceeded safe limits repeatedly. The XF-84H demonstrated the limits of extreme experimental propulsion. Initial flight testing of the XF-84H began cautiously in 1955 with only a few sorties planned. Pilots immediately reported extreme vibration and uncontrollable torque effects. The aircraft produced deafening noise that affected both pilots and ground crews. Even short flights highlighted fundamental handling and reliability issues. Torque from the powerful propeller caused the aircraft to pull violently during takeoff. Pilots had to apply constant control inputs to maintain straight flight. Minor throttle adjustments could produce sudden rolls or yaw. Maintaining stability required extreme skill and concentration. The reduction gearbox proved unreliable during flight operations. Failures occurred unexpectedly, forcing early termination of several test flights. Engine overheating was common, limiting operational time. Mechanical stresses damaged components faster than engineers could repair them. Supersonic propeller tips generated continuous shockwaves during each flight. These shockwaves created intense vibration throughout the airframe. Noise levels were unlike anything previously encountered in aviation. Nearby personnel were often physically affected by the aircraft's operation. Pilots reported that landing the XF 84H was equally challenging. Torque effects persisted through approach and touchdown. Control surfaces were sluggish and erratic under power. The aircraft demanded expert handling at all stages of flight. Despite repeated setbacks, engineers collected valuable performance data. Information on torque management, propeller behavior, and airframe stress was analyzed. These insights informed future turboprop and high-speed aircraft designs. Lessons learned extended far beyond the XF-84H program. Ultimately, flight testing confirmed that the design was fundamentally flawed. The aircraft could not achieve operational reliability or safety. No performance advantage justified the extreme risks involved. The XF-84H would never enter active service cementing its place as an infamous experimental aircraft. Mechanical failures continued to dominate the XF-84H program despite intensive modifications. The reduction gearbox and engine components repeatedly broke under operational stress. Propeller vibrations caused structural fatigue throughout the airframe. These persistent problems made reliable flight nearly impossible. Aerodynamic efficiency was disappointing compared to expectations. Supersonic blade tips generated drag and instability rather than additional thrust. Fuel consumption was higher than calculated, reducing potential range. The aircraft could not meet the performance benchmarks set by engineers. Pilot safety became a growing concern during every test. Torque effects and vibration made emergency procedures hazardous. Even brief malfunctions could result in uncontrollable flight. Commanders increasingly questioned whether the program could continue safely. Advances in pure jet technology overshadowed the XF-84H. New jet fighters offered higher speeds with greater reliability. Turboprop experiments could no longer compete operationally. The Air Force shifted focus to safer and more effective designs. Budgetary and logistical pressures also influenced program decisions. Maintaining the prototypes required excessive manpower and specialized resources. Replacement parts were scarce and expensive. The cost-benefit analysis of continuing the program became unfavorable. Ultimately, 
the Air Force terminated the XF-84H program in late 1955. Both prototypes were withdrawn from service and placed in storage. No further development or production occurred. The ambitious project ended without achieving operational goals. Despite failure, the program provided valuable engineering lessons. Data on supersonic propeller behavior, torque management, and airframe stress informed later designs. Experimental knowledge prevented future attempts at similar concepts. The XF-84H remains a cautionary tale in aviation history. The XF-84H Thunderscreech ended as one of the most extreme experimental aircraft in U.S. history. Its mechanical failures and uncontrollable torque ensured it never entered operational service. The aircraft's extreme noise earned it a notorious reputation among pilots and ground crews. Despite this, engineers gained unique insights into turboprop propulsion limits. Supersonic propeller dynamics proved far more complex than theorized. Vibration, structural stress, and aerodynamic challenges highlighted the risks of combining extreme power with conventional airframes. Lessons learned influenced later high-speed turboprop and jet designs. The program underscored the importance of reliability over raw performance. Pilot experiences with the XF-84H were both harrowing and instructive. Test flights required extraordinary skill and focus to manage instability. Emergency procedures had to be carefully planned and rehearsed. These human factors informed safety considerations in future experimental programs. Although the aircraft never flew in combat, it shaped engineering approaches for decades. Designers studied the thunder screech to avoid repeating similar mistakes. Turboprop experiments shifted toward more manageable configurations. Its failures became a reference point for experimental risk assessment. The XF-84H demonstrated the limits of pushing existing airframes beyond feasible power. Weight, stress, and vibration issues could not be fully mitigated. Engineers recognized that some concepts, while intriguing, were operationally impractical. This knowledge guided decisions on future experimental aircraft. Today, the XF-84H is remembered as a daring but flawed experiment. Photographs, test records, and pilot accounts preserve its story. Aviation historians highlight the lessons it provided rather than any success in service. Its legacy is technical, not operational. The Thunder Screech stands as a cautionary example in aviation history. Ambition pushed the boundaries of engineering, but practical limits were swiftly revealed. Its story informs both engineers and historians about the challenges of extreme experimental flight. The XF-84H remains an enduring symbol of innovation and risk.